guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren, thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. We are doing another one of these. We are doing a makeup I'm not surprised is on sale at Sephora video. I started this series many, many years ago at this point and this started out as talking about makeup that was on sale and all the reasons I'm not surprised it's there, the reasons I don't think it's sold and kind of making the conclusion or correlation that because an item went on sale, people didn't want it because at that time, makeup didn't go on sale nearly as much as it does now. And so with the boom of everything coming out, I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm not surprised when any makeup goes on sale. The market has, it's just so oversaturated. There's so many brands, new stuff. They just need to, they need to move products sometimes, I think, like every brand, even the hottest items. I mean, there are things that back in the day, if that went on sale, I would have been shocked. And now I'm just not like Sunday Riley, not surprised, like everything, not, I'm not surprised. So really anything could make it into this series at this point. It doesn't have to be makeup nobody wants. Um, but it's just too much, there's too much. And so they gotta entice us a little bit more and sometimes that's what the deal and I'm not complaining, okay? So we're gonna talk about all the stuff it's for that I'm not surprised is on sale. There is a sale going on for Memorial Day. So I thought it was like the perfect time. The sale page has never flourished as much on Sephora, okay? I'm saying this as someone who has tracked the sale page for a long time, like years and years and years. And sometimes you see things on that app <laughs> that have been there for too long. And I'm telling you, when I was looking through today, I was like, there were things I didn't even know Sephora carried at all, let alone now being on sale. So I hope you enjoyed the video, but also maybe there'll be something I talk about that you wanna get a deal. I'm not gonna lie, I ordered a few things myself and I thought I would do it today instead of like later on because uh, you know, in case these get sold out. So anyway, let's just talk about all the makeup I'm not surprised is on sale at Sephora. It's a lot, I feel like there's a lot of stuff. All right, we're getting right into it. The Sephora Favorites Lux Vibes Mini Luxury Beauty Sampler Set is on sale. This originally was $65, it's down to $30. $32.50 and um, this obviously from the packaging I can tell it was something for like holiday So it was something you could gift to someone is how the, I'm thinking they were making this and there's quite a few little products in here There's the Guerlain Lore 24 karat gold radiance primer. It's a deluxe mini all this stuff in here are basically minis There's an Armani Beauty lip maestro liquid matte lipstick There's like three different skincare products in here and there's also an Yves Saint Laurent Lieb perfume travel spray Spray. You know, to me, first off, we're talking about luxury here. I just don't think, for me anyway, I don't want to gift many luxury things. I don't think that's very luxurious. I, I don't know. It feels almost like an oxymoron uh, in that you would give someone this maybe as luxury, but they're getting like half half a ounce or you know a third of an ounce of something to try, like free sample type products, even if they're of luxury products, doesn't seem super luxurious, especially if you're spending $65 on them. I know these products are expensive. I think that the uh, perfume in here is like the biggest draw to this whole thing. That's like a full size thing you could buy, even though it's a travel spray, that's probably about $30 in value. But I was looking at the reviews and a lot of people didn't like this because I guess you get a voucher in here to redeem for the spray instead of getting the actual spray in the box. And people are having trouble redeeming it because it's not being carried in stores or it's sold out in stores, it's sold out online. So that's something to be wary of. If you're gonna buy this, <laughs> make sure you have a place where you can redeem it because that seems to be a problem. Hopefully the out of stock thing, it'll just come back. I know that that perfume specifically is quite popular. So hopefully it's just out of stock temporarily and you can just hold off on it. But I get that that's disappointing for sure. So not surprised that it's on sale. I mean, I don't know. I, I would rather get one item. If you're spending $65, find one luxurious item you can get at $65 and gift that personally than this mini set. I just, I don't get it. All right, we're already running into Bite Beauty next. Uh, Bite Beauty is no longer going under. I don't know. They've gone the way of many brands now at this point. Um, you know, it's just oversaturated and I think it's just tough out there. I've heard a lot of people talk about how because they changed their formula from um, being non-vegan to vegan, which eliminated, I think, the ingredient lanolin in their lip mask, which was like a cult beauty favorite. It changed that product. People didn't like it as much. And that's where the, you know, the snowball started forming down the hill until we got to this place. That's what I've heard. I actually haven't bought that many Bite Beauty items. I feel like 
back in the day when liquid lipsticks and just like lips in general were really having their moment with like, you know, the lip plumper. Not that that isn't happening now, but I do feel like there was a bigger lip moment, you know, than maybe now. And I, I don't know if they capitalized very well on the changing trends from like cream lipsticks. I remember these getting tons of hype in like 2016, 2015. Like, I think I wanted Bite stuff back then, but ever since then, I haven't really, you know, I haven't been into the brand. Anyway, you can get some of the lipsticks though and any of their products at a pretty good rate right now. So this is the Power Move Hydrating Soft Matte Lipstick. There are quite a few different colors, I believe, but it's originally 28 down to 14. Obviously not surprised it's on sale because <laughs> the brand is going under. So they're trying to like move product, get rid of product. And it's a good time if you wanted some stuff to maybe pick it up. I'm not into bullet lipsticks. I'm not picking these up, um, but yeah, it could be a good time. Obviously not surprised. There's another Bite Beauty. Um, this is something that came out a little bit more recently. These are the Yay Sayer Plumping Lip Glosses. And these like had a chance. I feel like the last couple of releases from Bite were, they were trying, but they were still like off. Like it felt like AI made them. <laughs> they weren't like quite knowing what was going on or something, you know, like something's a little off here. And that's how I felt about these guys too. They originally 25 down to 1250. I think there's only a couple of shades on the website, but I think it had like six that came out. Honestly, I found the container just odd, like how you dispense this was a little bit weird to me personally. Like I don't, just a doe foot's fine. A doe foot is fine. Why, <laughs> we don't need to do this, you know? I don't know, it just was off. It was just, something just wasn't right about it. And it's unfortunate because it's not that I, uh, you know, I just said lip products, whatever, aren't, weren't, aren't having their moment. I just feel like different types of lip products come out with tinted lip balms in a doe foot. Those would probably be really popular. Come out with a nice range of nude lip glosses would do, I think, really, really well, especially if they're really brown based. I think those would do super well. I think there's lip products that definitely could do great, but I don't feel like that's really where they went with it. So anyway, um, yeah, not surprised. Okay, we'll hit up more Bite Beauty as we go along, but let's just keep it moving <laughs> for now. This next product is from Fenty, and this is the Bomb Posse Mega Mix and Match Eyeshadow Palette. This came out around holiday, I believe, and this did not get very good reviews from what I saw. I actually like the colors in here and I like neutrals. Like there's something about it that's nice, but I don't know. I just don't feel like the Fenty eyeshadow formula is that. It's just not doing it. You know, I can tell. It's just not doing it for people. It doesn't get raved about. All the other products are way better. And if I were suggesting things to people, I wouldn't bring up the eyeshadow. I would be like, get the blushes, <laughs> get the cream blushes, get the bronzers, check out the lip products like over the eyeshadow. So anyway, it's unfortunate that this didn't do as well. But yeah, not surprised to see it there. It was originally 48 down to 33.50. This might be something that is just on sale for Memorial Day weekend. I think a lot of these products might be that way. So I don't know how many of these are going to be like on clearance, clearance, like they're gone forever. So keep that in mind. They might just be here and, and discounted for a limited time, but not surprised to see this palette there. Next, this is from Natasha Denona. These are the blush duos and they're originally 38 down to 26.60. I think this one is my theory, my, uh, my conspiracy theory is that I think maybe these are on their way out. I would not be surprised if Natasha Denona revamps her blushes soon. I actually think she should. She's come out with like little duos and stuff with mini collections and whatnot, but I think we need a revamp. Uh, these blushes, they all have this like peachy duo next to them. Almost all of them have that same kind of peachy duo. I think it's to help blur. I don't know. I just think it needs a revamp uh, and I think it would do really well and I feel like that's what's coming. So I'm not surprised to see this on sale and I'm hoping that's why. <laughs> I'm hoping that is what will happen. I've also seen these in BoxyCharm and different discount websites like that. And honestly, the moment I sniff and see your product on one of those sites, it's over. I'm never paying full price for that thing. I'm never doing it. When I know that there's the possibility that I can get it on sale because you've given it to a boxy charm or you're associated with Ipsy somehow or you are giving stuff into FabFitFun, I will find your discounted products. Like I immediately know that now that's the, the possibility. Just so you guys know. Okay, here's another Bite Beauty. Now, not only, obviously, because they're going under, um, is this on here, but this is the Upswing Full Volume Mascara. You can buy the mini of this, which I guess that buying minis can save you some money um, but I just feel like minis to me like mini mascaras are free perks okay somehow you give those to me for free somehow I redeem some points maybe for them but I'm not paying you $14 for a mini mascara. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, it's not happening. But specifically, I wanted to warn you with this one if you were thinking about it because now it's $7. This mini mascara, 
This is a stubby ass little wand, okay? I had a sample of this. I think I used points or something on it. You cannot get it <laughs> close enough to your lashes without your hand, your fingers being like in your eyeballs also trying to help you get that on your eyelashes, okay? It is just not a functional mini. It's not functional. I don't know why they thought this was okay, <laughs> uh, but it's absolutely not. And it's really actually unworkable. So that's also why I'm not surprised to see this here. And I'm honestly just warning you in case you wanted to pick this up, like do not. I'm telling you, when I was doing this, I was like, I am going to poke my own gosh darn eye out trying to apply this mascara. Who, who ever, uh, I don't think it was ever tested on. Did anyone try to use it? Absolutely not a fun time. Okay, moving on. Okay, this next one's from Way. It's one of the candles. There's actually a lot of candles on sale. I'll touch on a few others as I go through, but even the um, Otherland has a lot of candles on there going on sale. So potentially if you were looking into those, I do like the Otherland candles. But also, I mean, this is the weekend of sales. So it's a good idea if you're looking for something um, to maybe go and Google it out on their own website or on other websites and see where the best deal is. Like if you have the time and if you're already willing to shop, up, it might be a good idea to do that too because maybe other land is having like 25% off and it'll be more I don't know I'm just saying also consider that like I don't know Memorial Day weekend is like the weekend for sales like I've been getting so many emails like it is a lot <laughs> a lot of sales going on okay okay anyway moving on let's actually talk about this candle this is the Melrose Place candle there's also like North Bondi or something I think as well but this is originally $44 down to 22 half off pretty good for Sephora I feel like half off is like usually the most you're gonna get unless it's something people really don't want okay and they've had it for three years I'm not really surprised to see these here I think $44 is a lot of money for a candle also ways known for their hair products and although I know their hair products smell very good I don't know I don't even feel like people talk about their perfumes that much let alone then wanting a candle so I think that's why I think there was also some controversy maybe about the vest that it is being copied by like a smaller brand. I'm not really sure about a ton of that, but um, I'm not surprised to see the way candles on sale. I'm sure they smell nice, but they're also not scents. I don't think I want to burn. I don't, I don't think so. It's been a while since I've smelled their stuff, but yeah, I don't, I'm not surprised to see them. We're back to more Bite Beauty, I'm telling you. The Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation, originally $44 down to $22. This is one of the products that came out, um, I think at the beginning of 2020 or so. And I was actually really excited. To me, this was like, okay, they're doing something more than lip products. And I felt like it was really on trend and on brand and all the things. And I feel like after this launch, it just kind of stopped. I thought they were gonna be coming out with like blushes, bronzer, like I thought it was gonna be the start, but I'm sure sure the pandemic had something to do with that and um, the whole world changing so <laughs> could be why but this is one of the things I'm actually you know I felt like this was one of the, the good things it's almost like with the same thing with Becca I feel like their last release before they kind of announced <laughs> stuff like one of their good releases something really on trend and then it was like nope we're done I'm like damn okay this other one this is the daycation whipped cream blushes from Vite Beauty now these things originally 32 down to 16 these were something that came out I guess after that change maker foundation thing, but what the hell? I know it's been talked to death. I've talked about it, everyone's talked about it. These were the weirdest packaging. I mean, just odd. What the hell is going on? I know that a lot of people make the joke that these look like little dicks, you know, like little wee wees. Um, but I am more, you know, of course, yeah, that it's, it's off-putting for sure, but also it's more like, this seems like a pain in the ass to get out. Like, uh, how do you squeeze this all out? It's not even aesthetic looking to me. So I don't get why we chose this. Why did we choose this packaging? Once again, we're having issues with packaging. Same with that little mini mascara. Are people using this stuff? Do they know, like what's going on? Just a bad decision, I personally think. Also, when it comes to the shades, another thing that felt just a little bit off, they were all these like kind of frosty shimmery looking things. And maybe in person they were better, but all the pictures made them look really frosty. They all had this cool toned icy look to the colors and there was something about that that was different, uh, but I also feel like maybe wasn't giving the right vibe either. Like just odd choices once again, you know? So just weird. Okay, moving on, not surprised, right? There's some Silk Cream lipsticks from Artist Couture on sale, originally 18 down to 1260. Um, I just didn't know that Artist Couture had these, yeah, honestly. I know that Artist Couture started with those like loose highlighters and the brand has really expanded since then. They have eyeshadow palettes and other stuff as well, but I didn't even know about these. So that's why I'm not surprised. I'm assuming that these are more of a Memorial Day sale thing anyway, like they won't be on sale long-term, um, but I don't know. Let me know, do you use bullet lipsticks? I do think 
think that we're in this kind of weird middle area with bullet lipsticks like unless the colors are amazing or you know they're getting some type of hype somewhere else like on TikTok or different social media really I think more like tinted balms something glowy something dewy something more sheer is what's popular so yeah i don't even think maybe that formula is as popular right now okay next this is from sephora collection it's the cooling body roller originally 19 down to 15. okay i'm not surprised when any any tools beauty tools go on sale honestly i feel like beauty tools are such a scam i'm not saying that they don't work i just feel like they're one of the products that i feel like are really inflated in price this one actually is not not a good example of it because 19 isn't too bad and we'll talk more about this one specifically but I just have to say you know there's the LED light mask there's like all this stuff and I feel like because they're tools somehow they feel like they can charge you hundreds of dollars for them but then randomly they'll go on sale and I'll be like half off and I'm like yeah so you're telling me that $350 thing all of a sudden you can reduce it to 150 and you're still making money then why like it just feels scam I just don't like it I fucking hate that shit that's just a little rant okay sorry <laughs> I just don't I don't like it I just feel like because it feels like more of a tool than like a powder does or other things because it might plug in or need a battery all of a sudden it, that alone adds like a hundred dollars to it and you're like I don't, what, what? I mean, I haven't done all the research, but not to mention also, I'm like, how much do they work on us, honestly? I'm not convinced. Okay, anyway, the cooling body roller though. I've definitely seen these people roll in their face, roll in their body. Do you have one of these? Do you like it? There is something that feels really nice about being the person who takes the time to do that type of stuff, but I'd love to know if you have it, do you use it, and how do you like it? Because man, like I don't even know what the benefits really are. I'm assuming to puffing, like by using cooling stuff, but um, I'd love to know. I have one of the rollers I got in like a boxy charm a long time ago, this like heavy purple roller and one side smooth and one side is like more textured but not like pointy um, and sometimes that feels really good to use but <laughs> the amount of times I've used it since I've had it very minimal, very small. <laughs> okay, another one from Natasha Denona. These are the lip liner pencils. They originally were 18 down to 1260. This is definitely an older item in Natasha Denona's line. I've seen these on BoxyCharm and that's one of the reasons I'm not surprised. And I don't know if I've mentioned this in past videos like this, but I will mention it here because I saw it. Don't pick these up. I, I do really like the color. I think it is the light natural one or one of them. They have some nice colors actually. They are the hardest pencils and I don't know if that's just the formula. I don't know if that's they're old as fuck I don't know but holy crap it is like po like po pokey scratchy hurts your lips I had to get rid of them I'm like I can't even use them they hurt me they're kind of useless in that way like they are so hard the pencil so hard I could get pigment on but it, it was not a pleasant experience and I like a, a drier pencil formula not that dry baby though okay so don't pick these up uh, I don't think you should my favorite lip liners are from Jane Iredell so try those out I love spice that's my favorite it's what I'm wearing now I'm also wearing the truffle color from dose of colors okay next another Natasha Denona lip product this is kind of just with metallic lips in general but these are the mark your liquid lips metallic not surprised these are on sale because um you know I just don't know will there be a time when metallic liquid lipsticks like come back I don't quite know when metallic lips like this metallic were popular I get a little shimmer and I even get metallic for like a look like a specific very specific look or for an editorial shoot but for every day I just don't think it's what people want and even with these models again I think they're rocking them the best that they could I'm not even trying to like say they look horrible but you can see kind of some of the potential issues right they bring up every flaw every line in your lips they just aren't necessarily the most flattering and I just don't think it's what most people want and I think in a liquid lipstick formula on top of everything like metallic and liquid lipstick you're really pushing it, okay? You're really pushing it with that one. So I just don't feel like this is a very trendy item. Anyway, $25 down to $17.50. Let me know, do you use these? How do you rock them? If you do, am I completely wrong? I think it's just better as like a lip gloss. It's better in a more sheer formula, something like that you know because already liquid lipsticks can make your lips look dry so then adding on the metallic which just points out even more how dry they are I just think it can be a combo for disaster another another Natasha Denona a lot of Natasha Denona on sale honestly you know because Natasha Denona is in the boxy charm boxes and stuff I like to get her stuff on sale when I can there are some things I like to pick up right in the moment I want to have them when they come out and play with them then and all that but even with some of the palettes I wait for the sales 
that go on during Black Friday because you can get stuff for like half off, even newer-ish palettes. So yeah, I'm, I'm not surprised really to see Natasha Denona on sale. It's not a brand that never goes on sale even though it's a little more high-end. It does definitely go on sale. So anyway, this one, I, I don't ever remember. I don't know if it's an old product and that's why I can't remember it or, or what. It was $42 down to $29.40 and it's the Face Glow Cream Shimmer. This looks really nice. There's three different colors. I'm kind of like, oh, I kind of like you. It's still kind of expensive though, but I don't know why I couldn't remember this product. I didn't really remember that it came out. So I don't know if it's like old and that's why, or somehow I missed it. I'm not sure. It looked nice though. It looked great on the model. So that one I think would be a good one, but I guess I'm not surprised because I didn't know it existed. A candle that went on sale. Like I said, lots of fragrances, lots of candles. I'm telling you, there's just a lot of stuff over there. I'm like, Sephora actually having a sales section. Finally, a good sales section, what's going on? This is the Forever Mood Candle in Cookie Coma. I think this is one of the more winter, like uh, cold weather themed candles. I think that's why it's on sale. It was $38 down to 30, 40. I've only tried one of the candles. I can't remember what it was called, but it had like an almond note. It was in the pink packaging, I think from the original line or the more original or core line. And I did quite enjoy it. Um, so I would definitely be open. This one is a warm and sweet gourmand and it has almond, cinnamon, and Tahitian vanilla. It sounds amazing. It sounds so nice. Maybe a little bit heavy for the summer, but still at night, it maybe could work. So if you're wanting to try the candles, maybe that's a good one <laughs> to try out, but they might be doing a sale on their own website. So maybe check that out too. Okay. From Wander Beauty, the Exquisite Eye Liquid Shadows. This is a brand, again, I associate with with like subscription boxes. It's kind of surprising to me that Bite would go under before this brand. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry Wonder Beauty. I just feel like they're almost in the same way, but maybe being in the subscription boxes really keeps you alive. I mean, you constantly have a place to sell your products to. Maybe that's part of it, I don't know. Maybe it's a better business plan, I don't know. But anyway, these are some like shimmery liquid shadows. I hadn't ever heard of these from Wander. Wander Beauty is a brand I, I'm always kind of like hoping will do well. I think that they have like a good aesthetic and like they could do it, but they don't ever quite deliver. I don't know what it is. So not surprised to see it there, I guess, overall. Let me know if you tried Wonder Beauty, what your favorite products are. I think right now, the one thing I'm liking is like this cheek and lip duo. Um, there's like a cream blush essentially on top. And then there's more of like a clear balm essentially on the bottom. Um, I kind of like that. It's okay. That's my favorite one, I guess, so far. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> there's some fragrances from the Fluid Project and these are all dual layered um, perfumes. So however they've constructed them, you can see the different colors like sitting on top of each other. Um, the Fluid Project, the brand is actually pretty cool. They're all about creating like gender-free perfumes and just products in general. And I think it's really cool. I saw these on Sephora and was interested in them, but I don't think they had a sampler pack. So that's why I never picked them up. Cause you know, with fragrance, you want to make sure you like it still. So everything that's on the website, I think there's four different perfumes on Sephora. They're all on sale from 65 down to 49. So there's Intention, which has notes of pink pepper, rosebud, and cedarwood. There's Integrity, which has lotus, honey, and oud asafi in it. There's Transcend, which has dragon fruit, sea salt, and palo santo. And then there's Balance, which is iced grapefruit, black tea, and vetiver. All of them sound pretty interesting and something I definitely would want to smell, but I really wish that Sephora did a sampler pack. I don't know why Sephora doesn't do more of these. I feel like anytime they do stock a fragrance sampler, it sells out really fast and then sometimes just never restocks. And I'm like, how am I supposed to know if I wanna buy this from you if I can't smell it? Like, come on. So I wish that happened. I think that's one of the reasons, you know, it's kind of tough. And I don't think that they sell it in store. It's online only. So that would just be really nice. These ones were kind of surprising. I'm not gonna lie, kind of surprising from Guerlain. All of the Aqua Allegoria perfumes were on sale. So there's Mandarin Basilic, like a lot of the other ones, they're normally 140, they're down to 105. And I thought that was really surprising actually. And they were all in stock too. I feel like sometimes you see <laughs> fragrances on sale at Sephora. They've been there forever and they've all been out of stock forever. But these ones, they're there, they're still there. So I don't know if that's just for the weekend. I'm assuming it's just for the weekend. This is something I picked up. I don't know if this has been on sale for a while, but it finally got me if it has been. From Pat McGrath, the Divine Blush and Glow Trio. I picked this one up. I picked the lighter one up. I think the darker one is actually already out of stock. Originally $52 down to 31. Pat McGrath is another like more luxury brand that definitely goes on sale. You can always catch a deal on her own website. A lot of stuff goes on sale. So you know, unless you want it immediately 
or you think it's something that's really gonna sell out and like maybe not come back, you can definitely catch things on a great deal. But I picked up this blush trio because I really like the blush formula from Pat McGrath. I think it's really great. And for $31 for three different products, one is more glowy, um, but I decided to give it a go. I'm looking for more blushes. I really like this formula, let's go. So I picked that one up actually. Never surprised to see a Pat McGrath. You just don't know when it'll pop up. Maybe I'm surprised when it will be there on sale. Some more perfumes, Ellis Brooklyn West is on sale. There's a couple different Ellis Brooklyn perfumes on sale. I actually recently did a video talking about the entire house and every perfume and what I think about it because I either have a sample or a bottle. So definitely check that out if you're interested in this brand, but I even mentioned it there that their perfumes go on sale every now and then. I think they might be doing something on their website. I've seen different ones pop up at like discount retailers like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So I'm not surprised to see this there, but originally $105 down to 78, you can definitely score a deal. Oh my God, okay, this one from Urban Decay, the Wild Greens eyeshadow palette didn't take long. It didn't take long, never surprised. But specifically with this one, I bought this. I did not like it. I didn't enjoy it. I need to give it another chance maybe, but oh, $22 now from 44. Not surprised to see it here. I really wanted this to be great, but I didn't get on with the formula, honestly, that much. Mm. Yeah, so I didn't love that and I'm definitely not surprised to see it. I don't even know, not that many people even really talked about it. Like no one remembers it, no one remembers it. Another one from Pat McGrath, these are the Love and Lust Gloss Duos. $29 down to 15, so half off. And it's a duo where they look like little hearts. And I think it's a cute thing, like something to gift maybe for Valentine's Day, something like that. But I actually thought this was kind of a weird one for Pat McGrath. I know she does fun things and I love her Instagram. And I think she's, you know, whimsical and, and just has a vision, but this felt a little bit off for her brand, to me anyway. And they also just look like horrible to use. Like again, very stubby little uh, gloss wands, like the actual doe foot. And then how do you get the product? Like, I don't know, I just don't think they're very practical either. I get wanting to make a cute little heart shape, but maybe, I don't know how we do it, but maybe not this way. You know, that's how I feel. So I think maybe that's partially why too. I mentioned at the beginning um, that like brands like Sunday Riley, when I started this series, I would have been surprised that they were on sale. But now I'm not, I'm not even surprised when like really expensive stuff that's like cult classics back in the day. It's like, it's just changed. Even in my head, if I think that they're the coolest, hottest thing, I'm, you know, maybe I'm a little bit behind the trends. Okay? <laughs> I'm not over on TikTok. I'm not um, doing that as much. And so even though I I may remember these brands as like the hot thing. They might not be as much anymore. And also again, everything's so saturated. So Sunday Riley UFO salicylic acid BHA acne treatment face oil. <gasps> I don't know if this is one of the most popular, obviously Good Jeans is, but I've seen Good Jeans on BoxyCharm sales, okay, for like a pretty good discount. So I'm just not surprised anymore. I am, <laughs> I'm not. From $80 down to 60, anything's up for a sale now, guys. I'm telling you, if you don't wanna pay full price for beauty stuff, you kinda don't have to. There are tons of sales somewhere, some way. Get at least 10, 15% off. It, you can do it, you can totally do it. These blushes I picked up, some Clinique Cheek Pop blushes. These things are some of my old, old favies, oldies but goodies, man. Only some of them went on sale, they're usually $26.50, uh, but a section of them went on sale for 19. So I picked up a couple different colors. I mean, these are getting older. I think that the formula is like great, but there is something like it just, you know, eventually you gotta revamp some stuff, you know? As much as I don't wanna like say it, like people want new stuff sometimes. So I could see that being partially why. Also, it seems like the ones that went on sale were maybe part of a more, like a more limited edition release or color selection. So um, yeah, I actually picked up a few of those because I love that blush. It's like a really pretty formula where it's not quite matte. It's not super shimmery where it's going to like pick up texture or pores. So I'm excited. I hope those work out well for me. Ooh, this one from Skylar, the Vanilla Sky Candle, as well as the Salt Air and maybe a couple other candles were on sale. Normally $45. I know, so gosh darn expensive, way too expensive, honestly. But they're down to $31.50, so good. I think they're also doing 30% over on their website, so maybe, the, I don't know what that would be over there. It's kind of a similar price actually. Maybe they just match the price over on Skylar. I don't know. Anyway, this candle though is amazing. I love the Vanilla Sky scent. I have burned through two of these candles. I have a few in my closet because I found them for $20. So if you want to wait out, Ipsy did that and I stocked up on a few, but I feel like $31.50 at least is like some money off. You know what I mean? If you're going to want to try it out. Not surprised to see it because I've gotten it on even a better deal. This I just put in here for nostalgia's sake. Honestly, the Tarte C Friction Stick Exfoliating Cleanser. I'm 
not sure if it's always been called this, but I remember, maybe it's from them or maybe it's from Pure actually, but I remember having one of these exfoliating cleanser sticks and I really liked it at the time because you could just, you know, do it in the shower and it like exfoliated. I don't know, it just brought back memories to me like five, six years ago and it was just a sweet little beauty memory for me. Okay, anyway, normally $22 down to $15.50. I feel like this is like a very specific use of a product and with how much skincare has boomed, I don't think that these kind of like easy two-in-one, on the go, not a big routine type products are as popular. I think people kind of like doing a skincare routine, even if they're not doing like an eight or nine step one. Um, I think people really, or a lot of people in the beauty space who care about this are caring about you know, all the different steps and maybe even use it as self-care in this like moment to reflect and, and do their uh, skincare. So I don't think they're as popular. This is another one of those tools, normally 179 down to 134. I think I've seen this PMD thing though, again on BoxyCharm for even cheaper than this, but this is one of the ones I think that cleans your body. And normally I'd be like, this is a rip off, this is a joke, blah, blah, blah. But I saw some type of ad, I don't know where, but someone was like using it in the shower and it had all these different attachments and it looked so future but also clean looking uh, in their shower. I was like, whoa, and had all these attachments for different things. And I was like, it's kind of nice. I've been getting more into really enjoying my shower routine and like scrubbing my body and using like the matching smells and then spraying something that smells similar when I get out. Like I've been kind of into it lately. So <laughs> there's something about this that is intriguing. Do not get me wrong, but I would not pay the money. Also, how do you, you charge it. I hope it held its charge for a long time, but I don't know. Anyway, I just thought I'd put that on there. I'm not surprised to see it. It's just a very extra product, like very extra, but it's the most appealing to me that it's ever been. <laughs> I guess I could say that. Okay. This no one is surprised. Come on. These Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Dip Clip On Dip Clip On Luminizer. <laughs> Um, they had one, now they've come out with multiple different colors. Just not surprised. This is such an accessory of a makeup product. You don't feel like it's practical. I sure as hell don't want to put my little finger in there. I don't want to clip it onto my belt or my bag or no. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is cute for a photo. This is cute for a uh, outfit when you're really trying to like go for it. But as a practical use thing, just give me, again, a lip gloss with a doe foot you put on. It's not a big deal. It doesn't have to be a big deal. Your lips look good. You put it back in your bag, you move on with your life, you know? Okay, this I wanted to mention, Clean Reserves Lush Fleur, if you like that scent. It is on sale from $98 down to $49. Pretty good discount uh, on that one. I really like the Clean Reserve line. Um, also, Clean Reserve, the website's doing, I think, like 20% off or 30% off. And I think it's on top of things already discounted too on their site, because I really want to get the white fig and bourbon scent or something or fig and white bourbon, I don't know. That's when I really want and it's already on sale and I put the code in and it works so I might get that. Anyway, moving on. Jouer Cosmetics. The blush duos are all on sale from 32 down to 22. This is an older product, so I'm not surprised, but that's one I've had my eye on, so I was intrigued. I didn't pick it up because the one I want from them, the Adore one, colors look beautiful, but the finish is matte, and I am into more of a satin blush right now. So I didn't pick it up, um, but it was tempting. It was a tempting one, but it's an older product, you know? They, I, I could just see them wanting to move stuff. Another bit of nostalgia. Do you guys remember when Glam Glow was the shit? It. Oh my gosh, the Glam Glow Mud Masks were so popular. Um, and this one is the Bright Mud Dual Exfoliation Treatment Mask. Now I have to say, I do think Glam Glow Mud Masks are pretty good. I had like an unopened one in a drawer. I think I got it through a BoxyCharm a while ago and I just saved it because I'm like, this is expensive, this is nice. And then um, me and Sam were like, let's do a mask. And I was like, you know what? Let's bust this one out. Like I remember these being really good. Holy shit, that thing burned my face. Like it's like, it will tingle. Um, um, if you, by tingle, you mean that my face feels like on fire, like it's going to fall off, like I'm about to go into shock, my body. It was intense. I'm getting like shivers thinking about it right now because it was so intense. Um, yeah, wow, I didn't remember that. I was like, holy shit. So you have to let me know. I probably have sensitive skin and that's why, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. Um, my skin was fine afterward. It was just that initial like three or four minutes was like the lip plumpers, the most intense lip plumper on your lips, on your whole face at the same time. It was a lot. Anyway, um, this brand used to be so popular. Definitely not now. I feel like once they started doing the weird collaborations and the glitter masks and stuff, I felt like they lost it a bit, you know? Um, they kind of went, instead of going like, we're serious skincare and like, 
coming out more like that, they kind of went a different way. And I maybe that wasn't the best, I don't think, but maybe they're doing great, I don't know. More Natasha Denona, these duochrome top coat pots are on sale. Let me know if these are good, because if they're good, I might try to pick some up. I didn't do it because I was like, okay, I don't need these. From $20 down to 14, there's three different colors and I actually love little potted things like this now. I just don't know if these ones will be good and like pigmented. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about them, but they're also older, so I don't know if they're good. Let me know, let me know, because it seems up my alley, but I also don't want to get them and be disappointed. So, eh, I did, that's why I didn't, I didn't do it. I think we're getting close to the end. My gosh, you guys, it's a long one. <laughs> um, from Jouer Cosmetics, the Essential High Coverage Concealer Pen, normally 23 down to 16. I actually picked this up because I have been getting just like little spots and I wanted a concealer that was pretty high coverage to just target those areas. I actually don't wear a ton of concealer. I put a little under my eyes. Sometimes I just do a little corrector actually under my eyes, but I might have like a breakout or two and I wanna cover that a little bit more. So I, I picked this and hopefully it'll work nicely. There's quite a few different shades and um, this I remember coming out, but it came out at a time when like we were kind of making the transition, I feel like to more dewy and like lighter coverage. So, you know, it just, it's a very specific product. And so I think that's why I didn't do well, but I hope that it'll work for the exact purpose I wanna use it for now. Some more Skylar perfumes. There were a couple different ones that were on sale, the roller ball and the perfume bottle. Normally 85 down to 51, but again, um, I think everything on the Skylar website is 30% off right now. I also have a video on Skylar perfumes if you wanna know what their scents are and what I think. I'll try to leave those linked down below if you wanna check them out. From Too Faced, I didn't realize that they had gel eyeliners. I, I didn't realize that, so that's why I'm not surprised these are on sale, because when did this happen? Uh, but these are the Killer Liner 36 Hour. I don't know who's wearing their eyeliner for 36 hours, but damn. Waterproof gel eyeliners. Normally 21, down to 15. It seems like only a few shades were on sale, but um, yeah, not surprised. You know, I just don't really buy much from Too Faced. So I think they sold too. So I don't even know. Everything's changing in the beauty world for sure. I think this is the last perfume, but this one's from Juliet Has a Gun. Miss Charming was on sale. Normally 135, down to 101.25. I don't know if it's just this Juliet Has has a gun perfume, but um, if the other ones are on sale, I highly suggest like not a perfume if you want something musky. I love Sunny Side Up. It's very specific. It's coconut sandalwood, ISO E Super, one of the top perfumes in my collection, so good. I also like Pear Ink if you want something that's a little bit fruity and fresh and isn't uh, too sweet. That one's really, really good. It has like a nice Ambroxan note in it too. So if you like Ambroxan, you'll probably really like that, but those are my top three picks for sure. Anyway, I thought I'd just mention because they're a really great perfume house. I like them a lot. Okay, I think the last thing I have to mention is from Tarte and this is the Amazonian Clay Highlighter, normally 29 down to 14.50. This is in the shade Exposed. I would love to pick this up I think it was sold out so I don't know how long this has been on sale or what but I have really been into trying out the old highlighters <laughs> that used to be popular and came out back when highlighter was the shit for some reason I've been really enjoying those formulas like <laughs> old highlighter formulas so I would have loved to pick this up but again like I said it was sold out not surprised old old highlighters I can't wait for more brands to come out with powder highlighters okay I know creams are like very popular I get it everyone wants a cream I want a nice powder highlighter, let's go. I love them. I, they're just like one of the funnest things for your face, I love it. Okay, well that concludes this long, long, long video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out, talking about Sephora sale products. I'd love to know what you're picking up. If you're gonna pick up anything, is anything intriguing you? Any of the reasons you think this stuff went on sale? But like I've said, I just feel like that's where we're at. Like every <laughs> everything at some point will probably go on sale. So, you know, if you're someone who's fine just waiting on the sidelines until you wait for the right moment and snatch up that item, like you might be able to definitely save some money. Uh, and like I also mentioned, tons of sales going on this weekend. If you're not trying to shop, obviously you just don't, you know, like I said, there will always be another sale. But also if you were looking for some stuff, there might be some good deals out there. So it might be a good time to check it out if you were already looking at buying something. But other than that, I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And other than that, I will see you in my next video. Bye.